For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and of the joints and the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? The word knows it. Absolutely, the word knows it, amen? And that's why we still believe in fivefold ministry, and that's why we believe in live preaching of the word, that God can anoint a man to take the sword of the word and cut you asunder till he separates your spirit and your soul because the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? But the word is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart so that when the word starts getting close and encroaching in on your problem, don't get offended at the man that's preaching, amen? Look at it and say, woe is me, God help me to be right with your word. If you're pointing that at me, I take it, Lord. Fix me, oh God. Humble me. Help me to surrender. Amen. America is one of the hardest places in the world to preach the gospel because America was based on rebellion. The spirit of patriotism and the spirit of America is a spirit of rebellion, and it's one of the hardest places in the world to preach the gospel because there's rebellious spirits in America, and there's a self uh, 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 there, there's a, such a sense of self-ability in America. We've always been on the top. We've always been able to figure it out. We've led the world and all of that. But God is beginning to humble America now because she's not going to be on the top very much longer. Sometimes what we need is just contrition and humility and surrender because the word of God is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That's why we come for preaching. We come for encouragement, for instruction in righteousness, for reproof and rebuke. We come for heart surgery. Sometimes things are so deep in our hearts, wounds from when we were children, scars from the past, habits that set in, generational things that were laid into us so long ago that we don't understand what happened, rejection complexes that came from parents, amen, neglect that we suffered or abuse. There's something so deep in our heart, we don't understand what's going on, amen, but the grace of God, he'll, he'll take a man under his control and put the word of God in that man's mouth to come down and start to dive deep down into the heart and start to expose, there's a problem here, we've got to go deeper. There's an issue laying here. You got to go deeper. Something's laying there. That's a problem. We got to go deeper until that can be rooted out, given to God, and the coal can come and purge and bring life. And then he can say, and now who will go for me? He says, I'm here. I'm here and I'm ready. That's what I've always wanted was to serve you. I've always wanted to do your will. That's the purpose, friends. That's God's great desire.